All right, everybody, welcome to the uh, 23 September semi-annual Delta Pardo and Gaming Community meeting. Um, as far as our staff, we've got uh, Hi, myself, Yo. welcome, Ren. Synth, who's our executive admin, Fox, who's our PC division admin, Spankinator, our uh, Xbox Live division admin, is unable to attend. Uh, he's on duty right now, but he may or may not be watching. But in his place, we have uh, Jealous Cupcake, who is our... Uh, lead streamer and group captain of the Xbox Live division, um, and we'll be discussing some changes to that name here in a bit. Uh, and then the, our global moderator, Sanity Pirate, is AWOL. So um, we'll start off uh, with the PC division discussion. Um, the first thing we need to talk about is voting for a primary game so that we can get uh, maximum participation and start coordinating events. Um, I ran a poll a couple weeks ago that um, allowed people to vote for which games they wanted to see us support because the issue that we're having right now is that we were supporting so many games that everybody just started kind of going off and doing their own thing and so we don't even really do anything as a community and so it leads to this stagnant level of activity because everybody is just, just playing willy-nilly which is fine but um, we do need to come to a consensus w with uh, some games that we can actually participate in together so that we can start recruiting efforts because uh, we can't recruit without a focus uh, some of the Correct. top votes that we had um, were Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, Ark, Survival Evolve, Battlefront Overwatch and Rocket League and our the top vote which DFW will actually be going to is uh, Star Citizen, I don't know if Everybody in here is familiar with Star Citizen, but that will be eventually our primary supported game when it is released. But for the meantime, we need to discuss the um, a game that we can currently support as well as an alternative. So, does anyone have any um, any any input as to which ones we want to go for as far as? the choices between Grand Theft Auto 5, Ark, Overwatch, whatever. Regards to that, I'm still putting my vote towards um, Overwatch. 
Ark and GTA 5. And maybe Rocket League if anyone else is wanting to get uh, into it. Yeah, I was going to put my effort on Rocket League. Okay. George? That's fun. Which one? <laughs> Rocket League <laughs> and Star Cities. He's a man of many words. Are we considering... So the reason... I didn't really talk to it, but... Uh, the reason that I included... Overwatch and Rocket League towards the end there is because we also need to consider what's popular currently. Because mm -hmm. if we get stuck on a game that nobody is really playing and it's just something only a few of us enjoy, we're not going to be able to recruit from a dead game, you know? Like, uh. Jill's Cupcakes voting for off Overwatch. Yeah. So, I'm looking at maybe Overwatch for the current primary, uh, Rocket League as a secondary. And Grand Theft Auto 5 is a secondary. Then once Star Citizen is released, then we'll go to Star Citizen primary, and Overwatch will be uh, our alternative. Yeah. Is that good? Is everybody good with that? I'm good. Is there anyone? Yeah. Is there anyone that wouldn't be able to participate in any of these games? I don't really have any? <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> busy. Okay. Um, Rocket oh, League is free, so you can get that easily. Oh, I didn't even know Rocket League was free. Is that? Yeah, I didn't know that it's either. Free. Is it? it should be free. No, huh? it's... I don't think um, it is. It's $10 on G2A. Uh, US prices. That's the cheapest where it is. Is that the one with the, um... Oh, the no. The cars, cars? Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was yeah. free on PSN. Uh, yeah. Um, there's, what is it called? Stabilizer? I don't know. When the shakiness is off, I still get really nauseous while playing the game. Okay. Um, so I guess the majority is going for Overwatch. Now, Jealous Cupcake plays Overwatch, but she plays on, on a PS4, yeah, on the console, which is fine. We can um, start planning for uh, recruiting on there as well. But we'll we'll get to the uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so, does anybody have anything else they want to input? Have any, you know, does anybody have any additional suggestions or No, that's all good. All right. So, we're all in on a consensus with Overwatch then. Yep. Nice. Alright. Oh. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is our uh, MMO division. As a mm. lot of you may know, the MMO division has died out with um, the kind of fallout with Elder Scrolls Online. Um, Currently, the only member of the MMO division is Zerpent, who has been AWOL for, I want to say, a couple years now. <laughs> um, the, the reason we initially established the MMO division was so that we could have a, uh, a guild for fantasy-style MMOs, which uh, Delta Fighter Wing didn't necessarily fit, so we had to create a group that fit that that would represent us. It was sort of our flagship for fantasy style MMOs. Um, but at this point, it seems like it's been rendered obsolete because uh, we don't really play any MMOs in that fashion anymore, not as a community at least. So one of the suggestions that was discussed previously was absorbing the MMO division into the PC division. And that would cause a restructure with the division admins. There would no longer be an MMO division admin. It would all fall under Fox's division. And if we did, in the future, end up becoming involved in a fantasy-style MMO, we could always uh, utilize our uh, group captain and group commander structure to lead those uh, chapters, per se. So. Does anybody have any uh, input on this topic specifically? Or are we at a consensus with kind of scrapping the MMO division as an independent division and absorbing it into the PC division? Good towards the absorbing. I agree. 
I already agreed. Me too. All right. So um, that's going to lead to a restructure on the roster. So I'll I'll work on that. Um, let's see. I feel like there was something else that we had talked about for the PC MMO division. I can't remember what it was. So we'll move on to uh, the Xbox Live division. Um, it's been noticed that uh, the activity from the Xbox Live division has dropped dramatically. Um, yep. One of the ideas that came up was rebranding the Xbox Live division to a console division which will allow for PS4 uh, platforms and then even mobile or you know whatever other platforms there are to be able to become a part of the community and there would be Spankinator would still lead the console division but uh, depending on the number of consoles we have uh, and the groups that are on those platforms we would assign either division moderators or group commanders right now uh, Jealous Cupcake is uh, the Xbox Live division group captain right but it doesn't really make any sense because she isn't on Xbox Live uh, she's on PS4 yeah. and we've had a few players in the past that uh, are on PS4 that I've talked to that was interested in joining but we didn't have a division for them um, this suggestion was actually brought up by Spankinator in the past and we just kind of overlooked it because they were still active on Call of Duty and Titanfall, Destiny, that kind of thing, as far as I know. So the leadership hierarchy would change and uh, we would be allowing different platforms. Uh, do you guys think it would be better to have one admin and uh, different division moderators for that kind of hierarchy or would it be better to have uh, just keep it at group commanders and mm -hmm. just have one division admin? Um, well, I would say still one division admin and with the commanders, seeing as um, it's a console division, so it would mean more than just one console. So, well, yeah. Spanks on um, P uh, Xbox, there's Cupcake who's on PS4. Yeah, it should so be like that. Different recruiting methods for each console. Yeah, but still be under one whole division. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, have a commander for each console, but still under the same division. And what yeah, what uh, what rank would that be? Uh, division moderator? Will we allow for multiple division moderators, or just go yeah. with the, stick with a group commander? I think I think well, we can do different uh, division moderator. Uh, yeah, we can do different. Uh, di you know, we'll have division admin, and then under them will be the, the uh, division moderator. Okay, because. Yeah. The, the way that the hierarchy is intended, the division moderator is supposed to support the division admin and be able to represent him in the absence of the division admin. And if you've got, say, the division admin on one platform and then the division moderator that's supposed to represent him on a different platform, then it could cause a little bit of a a disconnect I guess so I'm that's just why you have two one specifically for Xbox and one yep. specifically for PlayStation like that you could even actually label them as that have two division moderators one Xbox live moderator the other PlayStation Network moderator okay, yeah. okay. so we don't need to worry we're... about the only thing we won't need to worry about is uh, Nintendo stuff since uh Every single no. Nintendo game is just uh, like the online play is confined rather than uh, than using multiple uh, uh, Nintendo IDs. But that might that might change in the future with the, uh, with the next. NX. Mm. They want to unify the entire fucking thing that they have and make it kind of like how PSN and Xbox Live is. Hmm. But we'll get to that. We'll get. We'll come to that when it comes out, rather than worrying about it. That's so, a little while. So here's my next question then: um, If we're gonna go with division admins, 
or I'm sorry, division moderators for each platform, then going back to the absorption of the MMO division as the PC division, if we did end up going to uh, needing a chapter for a fantasy style MMO in the future, would that also be a division moderator or yes. would that? It would. Okay. Yes. Well, yeah, we could still it could still be under PC division, but have a separate moderator for the specific MMO the, area. Yeah. area. The 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 good thing with this is that in the event that we ever do a multiple uh, MMO type of thing, we don't have to necessarily brand it well brand it as DFW because that uh, we can have it as you know how we did with Remnants and just. Uh, have it so that way, uh, whatever whatever guild name they come up with, they can associate it with us, and therefore yeah. it will fall yeah. under it'll fall under us. But it doesn't have to be necessarily us, so that way, in the event that if there is a fallout, it will go up the uh, up the ladder. It will just stay confined in that small, uh, it's uh, well, well, whatever yeah, drama thing, whatever. All right. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about uh, is uh, the purge. So Spankinator has requested that we purge the Xbox Live division, which is now we're referring to as the console division. So currently, uh, Alafa is listed as the division moderator, and then we also have uh, two members, uh, Raider24 and uh, I can't remember what the other one was. I don't remember the name, but. Uh, They've gone completely inactive. I don't even think the division moderator participates in uh, any console gaming at this point. Um, so we're going to end up purging Alafa, Raider, 2-4, and Renter Rocks is the names. So the only ones that will be in there is uh, Spankinator, Jealous Cupcake, and Swagmaster. So that would leave a vacancy for the division moderator position, which now there is two of so that would mean that uh, Jealous Cupcake is eligible for promotion to division moderator um, if she wants to take on that position and responsibility um, and then I know she is looking into becoming a streamer regularly and she does stream on a fairly regular basis we just added to your, we just added her to our uh, stream list um, on the website, and often hosts her streams. So, in addition to streaming, uh, taking on the division moderator position, um, you have the authority and the ability to recruit and schedule events on your own accord. Um, if that's something you're interested, uh, in doing that be fun. cupcake. Um, additionally, we have the division moderator position open for the PC division, and it's been open for a while. I don't know if we have anybody that would like to step up to that position. It's not just about the rank, it's about being able to coordinate events on your own, being able to recruit and run the division in the absence of the division admin. Um, uh, I have yet to actually farm. I've considered Fine, Blood. I think I approached him about it before, and I don't know if he uh, wants to step into those shoes anymore, because, you know, he used to be a commander in training back during our Halo Custom Edition days. Um, so, yeah, that, that position is also vacant uh, for those of you that might be interested. Um, so, I think that's it as far as the... This is responding on the uh, Twitch. Uh, it's in relation to schedule changes at work. Okay, yeah. Alright. All right. She, she has also has a few people she wouldn't mind joining too. Sam. I can get a, a handful to join on the Xbox side. Oh, are you on Xbox Live, uh, Lewis? Yep. Do you play regularly? Uh, yeah. Well, that would mean that uh, you are eligible for the Xbox Live 
uh, division moderator. Ooh. So well, console division now. Console. Well, no, yeah. So console division moderator for Xbox Live, if that makes sense. See, that was yeah. why. That's that was why I was kind of. Uh, I'll have to revisit this later. Uh, I may have to add another rank in there somewhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, all right. So I guess we're moving. Does anybody have any other additional input as far as the topics we've discussed thus far? Nope. Mm -mm. All right. So Still we will go ahead and move on to the general discussion, which is the uh, final part of the meeting. The first thing on the list here is the collapsing of the division pages and applications. Um, do we want to have a single application for DFW and then um, have give them the option to select whether it's PC division or uh, console division, or do we want to have two separate applications? Which would be, which do you guys think would be better? I would suggest just one and uh, give the drop down option for either PC or console. Can we do I that, think we do George? That. We we can. But we can. Um, yeah, we can. The only thing that I would actually suggest is that um, we have a singular. I, I really I really think that the Xbox Live division. Actually, not the Xbox. Sorry, the console divisions uh, should be able to uh, recruit their own. Uh, like have their own uh, standard of uh, uh, mo uh, application process. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. A have their own a application process because, um, and they would just uh, let us know. You know, it, you know, trying to promote more. Uh, uh, crap! What's the word? Uh, communication. Oh, hey, the uh, stream kit came back online. Anyways, um, so it would, for from a webmaster standpoint, would it be easier to have one application for everything, or do two separate applications? I can do two separate applications, no problem. That's not a. That's never been a problem. What about everybody else? What is there? Do you, everybody else think there should just be one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay. I still suggest one. Now, what about the, the as far as the division pages? Um, in the meantime, since we don't really have a lot of uh, independent uh, event coordination, uh, in the past we had individual division pages. Um, and when I say in the past, I'm talking about like 2006 to 2009, when we had like the Hell Jumper division, all that stuff. Uh, each of those uh, division heads would actually schedule separate events, which was one of the main reasons that would call for independent pages for each division. Um, at this point, the only thing we've ever had on the division pages are supported games. So, do you think that we should just collapse everything to one page, separ separate the, uh, the two divisions and just show the supported games? And if so, is there any additional content that you guys would like to see on the division pages? Mike. Can you say that again? Is there is there anything that additional that you guys would like to see on the division pages? Can we no. get some emojis everywhere? <laughs> no. no. I'm I'm going to right. seriously kick all of you if you keep that up. Do it. So the so we'll just collapse everything down to one page then, for the divisions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'd still suggest that as well. Okay. Um, the next topic: uh, awards and incentives. So, for a while, we took away our rank structure and just went with members and admins, and that didn't work out because it didn't provide uh, any incentive for vertical progression. Um. So we implemented the. A rank structure that allowed people to advance uh, and allow them to be rewarded for uh, their, you know, loyalty or length of time in DFW or participation, whatever. 
But in addition to that, we were looking at bringing back uh, the awards that we used to have, sort of like the um, uh, the recruiting award. You know, you get an award for a certain number of people that you would recruit or performance or whatever. So, are there any um, awards that you guys would like to see added to our structure? Some of the ideas that we had in the past were uh, level of participation, uh, level of recruiting, uh, activity in the community. Uh, we definitely you know, planning need that unicorn one. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but we especially need that unicorn oh, one. The, it was like the Google Award or something. I don't even remember what it was Happy called. Google yeah. Happy a Google Award. <laughs> 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 that was for doing the dumbest thing of the month, is what that was. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna win it. <laughs> that's that's what we definitely need. So we can bring that back, but um, are there any but other uh, the, awards or incentives that you guys would like to? Um, You're not gonna like the image I pick. Well, I'll I'll make um, the custom badges for them. Uh, I'll have to figure out how I want to implement that as far as putting it on everybody's profile. Um, I don't know I if I'm going to. I don't know if I want to put it on the roster because then that requires um, too many changes. Um, so I'm thinking about figuring out a way to just put it on their forum profile, or we could go. The only... Go ahead. Uh, the only problem is not enough people actually register on the forums. Well, anyone, every, anyone that joins has to register on the forums. It's uh, it's mandatory. So even the what I see where you're say, I see what you're saying, but when I was talking about restructuring the roster, uh, I was gonna make it to where like right now it's just one all it's one big image. Um, I'm looking at separating each profile to individual images on a table. Um, once I get the hierarchy um, broken down, and then. You can click on each individual profile and it'll take you to their forum profile. That way we don't have to create additional pages for each member like we used to back in the day. That's way too much work. So we'll just make their roster link back to their forums profile, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's sure, why I was saying the only other alter alternative I could think of is just doing it like we used to and put it, putting it on the uh, their signature. But we don't really do signatures for everybody anymore, so I think we'll just stick to figuring out how we can put it on their forums profile for now. Um, the last discussion topic um, is uh, some major rule changes. I don't know if anybody noticed, probably not, because people usually just read the rules once and forget about it, or sometimes probably not read them at all. But some of the changes I wanted to talk about, because we haven't really had any changes to our rules in a long time, is uh, number one, we added the uh, harassment policy in addition to discrimination. Um, now the Article 1, Section 2 reads that we won't tolerate discrimination discriminatory or harassing actions towards other members. Um, another change is cheating. Uh, s Article 1, Section 3 talks about how we're a fair play gaming community and any form of cheating is against the rules and will get you kicked out, essentially. Um, that includes hacks, so trainers, monitor files, all well. that. Um, it is essentially the same, but the wording has changed where it's... Uh, cheating at an official capacity and what that means is if you are on another server right uh, or under another host or playing a tournament or a match or whatever under an official capacity representing DFW then absolutely no cheating no hacks trainers modded game files nothing like that now we often play a lot of games that allow for these kind of things um, modded game files and whatnot and uh, that does not count as an official capacity if it's a private server or a private match, you know, whatever. If it's, you know, you're just doing it to have fun. It's not actually like a competition or online for real. Basically, That's, if it's not giving you more power uh, compared yeah. to others, 
And it's defined as giving yourself an Bolts unfair advantage fight. over other players at an official capacity. And again, if, if valid proof is presented that a member was cheating during official representation, um, they'll be suspended or banned, depending on yep. the uh, the offense. Um, but again, this the policy doesn't apply to custom games, private or otherwise declared servers or games. Um, the next one is the multi multi clanning policy change. This is a a pretty big one. Um, In the past, we didn't allow multi-clanning, and then we switched to allow multi-clanning once we kind of relaxed our, our structure. Um, we still no longer prohibit membership with other clans or communities, uh, but the change is that unless the supported games of the community in question is also the members corresponding DFW division primary supported game. All right, so to, to make it easier to understand, let's say that you want to join the uh, another community or clan right and their supported game is overwatch um, it's now prohibited to join other clans that support overwatch um, for the PC division members because their supported game is overwatch does that make sense to everybody mm -hmm. now yeah. multi multi clanning is still not an issue um, in general it's just when it comes to the other community or clan supporting the same game that your division plays. Because um, in the past it said except for um, supported games. Or, I don't know. Never mind. You guys, you guys understand, right? I got it. I got it. All right. Uh, the lack of activity or uh, absence. There's been a small policy change to that as well, which is under Article 4, Section 2, the demerit system. In the past, we used to have activity demerits that we would issue to people for uh, lack of activity or continued absence. Um, we stopped doing that because we don't we don't play necessarily as competitively anymore. We don't do pain training week or any training sessions or anything like that. Um, and I mean, facing the facts, so everybody's got school, college, jobs, whatever. We don't have time to just do that stuff that we used to back in the day. So we. We got rid of the activity demerits, however, um, we've been noticing an issue with a lot of uh, continued absences, and one way that I was looking at dealing with that is the f barring inactive members from promotion. So instead of getting kicked out or um, receiving a activity demerit or any kind of punitive action, you just won't get promoted and you will be unable to be promoted during your inactivity. Um, Actually, as, far as, as, far as, as far as kicking people out, that'll be up to the discretion of the, the admins. So for instance, like the console division, the division admin wants to purge, so we'll purge those members. But as far as automatic um, countermeasures, uh, I guess is the word, I don't know, I can't think of a better word. Instead of doing activity demerits, we'll just bar people from promotion. So, you know, like for the time in serve, time in uh, DFW, right? After three years, you're eligible for promotion to elite. And after six years, you're eligible to uh, eligible for promotion to veteran, right? So if you are barred from that, it doesn't matter how long you're in. If you're inactive the whole time, you won't get anything. Does that seem fair to everybody? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I was also going to um, make a suggestion uh, regarding to awards. If you're inactive for a certain amount of time, let's say a month, you can get an award called the Tony Award. <laughs> Mama. These guys are good. Get a award. Um, An award um, that basically says you're out of the clan. Yeah. You, or you just want it there. And again, that's that'll be reliant on the division admins and moderators as well. Um, you take care of your own people. So the last thing as far as the rule changes is the demerit system. Um, in the past, it read that any member who exceeded three demerits would be removed from the Delta Party Wing gaming community. It now reads that if you receive three, exactly three, then you're out. So on that third demerit, you're done. The reason for this is nobody has received any demerits since 
uh, we caught one of our commander in training aimbotting on a official match, right? This was like what 2009, I want to say. It's it's not no, easy not, to get no. demerits in this community because we're we're pretty. I like to think that we're pretty relaxed and we have a lot of offensive people in here. So <laughs> it's as far as uh, beha behavioral and performance and all that, um, nobody's been issued a demerit. So that's why uh, we just switched it to a three demerit limit because it's very rare that people get demerits at this point, which is good. Keep it up. Um, the last two points that I wanted to, this is open forum, um, ideas for recruiting, uh, public relations, social media, um, so let's say we're going to Overwatch. I haven't played yet, I'm going to get it on Steam, um, now that we've voted for that to be our primary game. Uh, you can get uh, it on Steam, boy. Battle.net, boy. Oh, sorry. Um, Blizzard's tech, or Blizzard, oh, Blizzard, whatever the fuck whatever, they want to call it. Yeah, it's getting renamed. I'm getting it on the computer. Um, so I don't know what, how the the setup is or anything like that. I've watched a few people play here and there, but I haven't experienced it for myself. So, for those of you that have played, what do you think would be some good ideas for uh, recruiting on there? Mm. Can you wear tags? Can you wear clan tags, or how does that? Uh, uh, no, it goes really. by your Blizzard name. Okay, so, so it's, it's kind of like Origin. It's, um, yeah, except you can't really change your name. It's all on it. Right, yeah, um, so once you pick a name, it, it. it won't exactly be overall easy to recruit on it because no one ever pays attention to chat mm -hmm. in yeah. one of those games. You can use voice, but I mean, rarely voice. people use voice these days. I've got just yeah, like instantly get everyone so. and other voice chat programs. Okay, what about um, I, um events, else? that kind of thing? Hmm. How do the matches work? Well, there's competitive, so I mean... Um... Think of like, um, a MOBA type game. It's, even though it's not like that, but that's what the class types are. Okay. So like, there's obviously got to be, um, damage dealers, a tank, a support, defense. Okay. Well, so if well... you ever played Team Fortress 2, that basically gives you the idea of it. If only Sanity was here, he plays Overwatch. So we'll we'll explore some options once we delve deeper into. I would actually suggest Overwatch. um, but as far as public relations, um, some ideas I was I had was creating um, uh, shameless advertisement posts on the DFW page and then having uh and boosting it. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it basically pushes out depending on how much you pay Facebook, it'll push it out to uh, a, a, a targeted audience of a certain number of people. If that makes sense, it's yeah. pretty, it's pretty shameless, but uh, I think it would help get us uh, a little bit more notoriety, so we have a bigger pool to recruit from. I think, in addition to the games that we're playing, especially considering the fact that Overwatch doesn't really seem like, from what I hear, uh, a game that will provide a, a sufficient, you know, a large pool to recruit from, like Elder Scrolls Online, for instance, or something like that, where it's more, more people instead of just a matchmaking setup, you know. But well, that's also why I suggest if we can also get onto the um, forums for it. Um, not our forums, like the, the Blizzard forums or Overwatch, whatever forums they have for Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure there is, so you can make some posts on there. And I, I think that Star Citizen, once we go to that, will be a little bit easier to recruit from. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah. just from the way that the games are, it seems like it would be. Um. Social media, is anybody interested in being a, a page moderator on our Facebook page to add content like screenshots or anything Ooh, like sure. that? In addition to, to that, anyone can submit screenshots or videos yeah. or dank memes, whatever. Hell yeah. You guys know a uh, slightly less dank to... memes though. Do we have yeah. a Twitter? Uh, no we don't actually, but... Um, what would be the benefits? That was actually something that I wanted to talk about in the last meeting, and I just never, I did, didn't even come to mind. A lot of streamers and uh, gaming communities actually have Twitters, right? But I don't know what the benefit would be to be have to have a Twitter, right? Because I don't even have a. A lot Twitter. of people don't have Facebook. They'll have a lot of Twitter and vice versa. 
Because it's like it's easier for some people. Okay. Do you guys think it would be better for us to create a Twitter? It Probably. would be useful. You know I myself don't use Twitter, but I it could it. be useful. Okay. You are. <laughs> Let me write that down then. Because that's a topic that I didn't even have listed on here. Okay. And Twitter's more like a, you know, posting immediate updates and that kind of thing, isn't it? As opposed yeah. to yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier, though. Oh. Uh, evidently, Jealous Cupcakes gets a lot of her followers from Twitter. Okay. Nah. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll do that then. Uh, who wants to, who would want to moderate that then? Me. Anyone who's good with PR. I, I suggest anyone who's good with PR, public relations, human interaction. Yeah. Yeah. If you're terrible at that or you're pretty awful about that, uh, no. Basically, right now, no I'm, shit posting, right now I'm the only one that really. Um, post anything on the DFW Facebook page, and most of it is either announcements or just stupid memes. <laughs> so, you know, it's 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 open for anybody to step in that position. Preferably slightly less stupid memes if it's going to be on the Twitter, at least. I mean, well, me memes are okay. Just, of... just, just, just you don't want to. It's, 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 it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird because you, you can't do stuff like you do on Facebook on there, but you can use stuff that you do. You like I don't know. It's it's less formal than Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's yeah everything's formal on Facebook, but on Twitter you can be direct, but not so indirect. Shade, shade. Yeah, you you can you can be like really relaxed about it. You don't have to be all fucking you know strict about it, mm -hmm. unless you're a company. But you know, we're right not a company. Yeah. One All right. Day. So we'll uh, we'll talk more to that offline then. Um, the last thing is uh, an idea that I had for an event, um, Project Pixelate, and for those who are of drinking age, it would be <laughs> um, video Don't. submissions for drunk gaming. Oh yeah. And, oh, uh, dude, and uh, is anybody is anybody down for that? Would anybody like to volunteer? Uh, oh, let's do it. You definitely got my vote. <laughs> You got mine. I'm gonna pull some old views from that. I know um, at least a quarter of this chat is unable to participate in such activities. <laughs> you, don't know that. you don't know that. But the ones that are <laughs> illegally we don't, able we to. We don't. We don't condone illegal drinking. We don't. Okay. You don't know that. On stream. <laughs> on stream. <laughs> on stream. We don't. On stream. <laughs> you you could you could do it without us without us knowing and submit a video and. Claim that uh, the people in there were 21 or older. That's fine, I guess. But yeah, oh, I was, yeah. So yeah, I was thinking about doing that, having sort of a, a teaser um, music video type deal um, instead of doing a, a trailer for the you know in the meantime. Um, so we'll uh, we'll touch base on that um, in the future as as far as when we're going to have those sessions and. You can also submit them individually. Like if you just if you're just playing by yourself and you just happen to get drunk and you're playing and just happen to record yourself, just send me the video and I'll add it on the. <laughs> I'll add it on there. <laughs> um. So is is there anything else that anyone else that anyone would like to discuss? Because uh, that concludes all the bullet points that I had for this meeting. Oh. I know there was. A lot of things that we discussed administratively. Um, I don't know if you wanted to bring any of that to light here. I'm down for the Facebook. That's all I gotta say. Down for what? Yeah, we pretty much covered uh, most of what we actually wanted to well cover. Yeah, we're fine. We're Gucci. Gucci? Was it Gucci? Okay. Ah. Uh, um, have you has have any of you actually seen the Star Citizen uh, trailer or? I don't know what that is. Beautiful trailers, actually. No. Oh, so it's um it's a huge crowdfunded product uh, project um, by Massive. the guy who created or helped create Freelancer and Wing Commander and all that kind of thing. Uh, he kind of was stuff. by the creator of um, the movie Wing Commander and yeah. the original game Wing Commander. Yeah. Um, actually, I have the trailer for it in the stream thing, so I'll just play it on here. Let me mute myself real quick. 
Is anyone still on the stream? Yeah. Uh, I am. Yeah. yeah. Give me one second. So yeah, does that seem like anything, something anybody else in here would be interested in, aside from the ones that were already looking into it? Yeah. Looks pretty <laughs> sick. To um, give you an idea of what type of game it is, really, um, it's basically a space sim, third person shooter, first person shooter, MMO. Um, you can basically, as it even stated, you can pretty much do anything in it. You don't even have to actually um, fight in ships. You could also just, you know, socialize on planets. But you could also race in it as well with certain ships. Or you can just pretty much explore the whole galaxy because it's going to be massive, the game. Yeah, it's a pretty aspirational game, but it's it's gotten the largest support um, from crowdfunding of any game. Um, I think they've raised over 100 million. I want to say 113 um, million total thus far. I think actually just more than that. Yeah. yeah, it's probably more than that. It's a lot. So there's a lot invested in this game, and that's, um, you know, we, we, we used to play Freelancer and Halo and all this stuff, and this game is essentially like the next generation uh, compilation of all the games that we used to play into one game. And so that's yeah. why we've decided to take that on as our primary supported game. And actually, you can play it now. I believe you can actually buy a ship. I think the cheapest one is $45 yes. and you can participate in the alpha. And uh, there's some and beta there's as well. Uh, the beta, yeah. 
basically the forty-five dollars will actually cover you for a sh like one of the cheapest ships and an actual copy of the game. So when it is released, you'll still get a copy of the game. So technically, the game's only forty-five dollars at the moment. But there are other ships that you can get, and there is uh, quite a bit of content at the moment in the alpha to actually do. Because even though it's actually Compared to what it's meant to be, even though it's small at the moment, but when you're actually in it, it's massive. Because yeah. I've already played a bit, though I need a better video card to actually um, have better FPS. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll if anybody wants more details on that, just get with the talk line and we'll talk about it. And also uh, for those of us. For those of you who aren't able to um, get the supported games of DFW, um, if it is a primary or alternative supported game and you would like to actively participate in the game, we can spot you. We've done that in the past. You no, know, I spotted uh, Maestri for ARK and uh, Fox has gotten Battlefront for me and we've offered to uh, get Overwatch for George. So if money is an issue, we can help you out with that. As long as you are willing to play that game every day if it's something that you really want if it's something that you're like oh, I'm just I just want to try it out but I don't know if I'm gonna do it obviously <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. so keep that in mind um, so uh, I mean, it's a hundred and twenty four million or well, over that anyways um, that covers all our topics we actually managed to just get this meeting in under an hour unlike our past ones so. I just want to thank everybody for uh, for showing up. The ones that did, um, we'll give you some candy or something. So, uh, some brownie points. <laughs> oh, t-shirts! Hell yeah! Shit. That's actually something that I've been looking into. Having t-shirts and stuff. Really though, it, it really helps out when we get a lot of involvement because we can't really get the voice of the community unless uh, we get everybody to show up to these meetings. Because you know, we we need to have a direction that we're going towards if we're going to before we can start. I really, appreciate, I really appreciate the ones that showed up for this meeting. See you in game, I guess. Oh, All right, guys. Nice.